Okay, hi, Mark Hills here again on uh, working with Big Oggy Golf at the wonderful uh, course here at Hale and practice ground area that they've just been uh, building. Work's still in progress, but uh, it's looking really good. You've got bunker shots to play with, uh, short chips, long chips, and a putting area proper here. Um, it's a wonderful uh, little development for Hale. I think it's fantastic. Um, I just hope that more people use it. Um, okay, so today um, we're going to talk about a hinge and hold method of chipping. Uh, this is for getting the ball up quickly and hopefully down quickly with a soft touch down onto the green, not too much roll out. Try and get a bit of backspin on this. Uh, for this I'm using as I like to use most of the time is my 60 degree lob wedge. Um, so we're going to talk about setup, the actual stroke, and then I'll try and demonstrate a couple of shots using this method. Call it hinge and hold because we're going a short distance and perhaps we might just have to lob it over a bunker or a bit of high ground and you can't roll the ball up. So the idea is on setup is to set the ball up Again, between your feet, weight again on the front foot, so a little bit more pressure on the front leg, and the stroke is back for a short uh, shot. Your left arm doesn't have to be very much further than your right pocket, but at that stage, it's a full hinge. We want club head speed coming down into the ball as we strike and go through the ball, then we hold off. We don't follow through, which would give you too much distance. So it's a hinge, strike, and hold. If you practice this, you can tell what distances you're gonna get simply by taking your left arm back a little bit further, but still with a full hinge. We need a steep attack onto the ball club head coming down right through the ball and then holding off so there they go a nice soft landing right there didn't roll out too much and it held the green so I'll just go and collect some balls and uh, we'll carry on we need to get the ball up quickly and with a nice soft bounce. So again, just one more thing I'd like to add. In your setup with your weight forward, ball in the center, is to not have your hands forward of the club head. It's almost like a bunker shot. Have your hands in line with the ball straight up your chest in the middle. All right, let's go again. Nearly got that first one, I'll try again at that. Ran on a little bit that one. Okay, it's holding off, not too much backswing for a short one like this. And hold. Well, I nearly got that one in. But it's not rolling out very much, and I don't know how much actually these Astro Greens do hold. But there's certainly a bit of spin on the ball. Let's try that one again at the closest flag. Just a short little backswing, full hinge, and hold. Not bad, still rolling out a little bit. All right, okay, so... Uh, we're going to go for a slightly longer shot now, I'm going for that far pin, which is over the ridge of the green and down on the flat. Obviously before I was aiming at this little flag closest to us, which was a, a very short little backswing, still with full hinge and holding off to regulate the club speed. I'm going to open up my stance, probably about a yard left of the target. 
Again, club in line with the sternum. Ball centre of my stance. Slightly longer backswing, full hinge. And drop it there. Okay, there's a little bit more on this one. There we go, that's better. Well, there we go then. Um, managed to get one pretty close there. The other one was touch short, but uh, I'll forgive myself that. It was just a slightly bigger backswing I needed. But just do remember to get this full wrist hinge and follow through and hold it off. And you can practice this on, on areas like this or on the driving range to be able to regulate the distance. Um, if there's anything else that uh, subscribers of Big Oggy Golf would like to know, uh, little tips that you might want us to do, um, then for sure just uh, subscribe below to Big Oggy Golf and uh, put your request down below. And I'm sure that amongst uh, myself and the other pros that are helping out Big Oggy, uh, we can help your game as well um, and to enjoy. Okay, all right, thanks very much indeed for watching. Bye-bye now.